When we think of places at risk of a global water shortage, what regions come to mind? Is it the Sahara Desert, the Australian Outback, maybe the Middle East? Well, according to a new study, we can add Saskatchewan to that list. A new study by the World Resources Institute included this new map. It charts what they call water risk. The regions using the biggest percentage of their available water supply are colored red. A closer look reveals several dark regions of Saskatchewan, including the Saskatoon and Regina areas. The study's author says there are several causes. Oil and gas and other resource extraction use tens of millions of cubic litres per year. So does agriculture, particularly livestock. These activities often cause vital wetlands to be drained as well. He says there's also climate change, which could result in floods some years and drought in many others. You are in a high water stress region, and it means that when, when a drought strikes, when an extreme weather event happens, uh, that sometimes not all the water withdrawal can be satisfied. There's a high chance of running out of water. Uh, there won't be enough water in the steps for houses, for irrigated farms, or for industries. A University of Saskatchewan hydrologist says we have to stop taking our water for granted. He says governments, companies, and individuals need to work together to conserve this precious resource. Decisions that are made in Calgary um, impact um, what's happening um, in Saskatoon and in Saskatchewan and likewise what we do here impacts what happens downstream into, into Manitoba. We don't think, we're not schooled to think about how water and food and energy are all interrelated, uh, but they certainly are. These experts say there will have to be some difficult conversations in the near future about whether certain types of agriculture, mining or other activities will even be sustainable for the future. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.